alive on Saturday afternoon because I live on this planet with the rest of you. And my fate is your fate. Our destinies are tied together. I've been studying politics for 30 years. I've been on air for 22. I've been syndicated for 20. And I spend my life studying real documents, real legislation, real political movements. And I see how uninformed the public is when it comes to serious issues. It hurts my heart. Now, the globalists and a lot of parasitic elites, they're opportunistic. They look at a dumbed-down population, busy watching TV and football and enjoying all the great bounties of our society, and they see you asleep at the switch, and they think, hey, those are people we can exploit. Everything I've ever done is to fight illegal wars and tyranny. That's why I stood up against the Clintons and Bush and Obama. But when you talk about President Trump and you look at what he's done, pulling us out of the unconstitutional global government TPP that both the left and right were against, moving to reestablish Glass-Steagall, moving to cut taxes on poor people, signing executive orders to start blocking the forced mandate of Obamacare and $5,000 a year fines on citizens the media told us didn't exist, defending our borders, that's what a sovereign country has, going after ISIS and Al-Qaeda that Obama and Hillary helped empower in the Middle East and Africa. Everything he's doing is so wholesome. Trump's doing everything he said he'd do, running over the top of people like Paul Ryan and others who fight him every step of the way and undermine him with leaks. And they're coming from Paul Ryan, who gets access to everything Trump's doing because he's like almost the co-president. He has more power, obviously, than, 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 than Pence does. Speaker of the House is powerful. Probably the third most powerful person in the U.S. government. Maybe the second. And so Trump is completely surrounded. George Soros, go look it up, financed Paul Ryan, all the top Republicans. Um, Lindsey Graham, John McCain, Mitch McConnell. It's horrible. And Trump is just surrounded by all these enemies. But here's the big news. I'll give you a little bit of history. The big news is that the State Department had a thousand people resign two weeks ago. Great, get the hell out. But hundreds of others have signed letters attacking Trump only implementing a law that's been on the books since the 1970s. And before that, it's even in the Constitution, the president can block whoever he wants that isn't a citizen. You get rights here because you pay taxes and you're born here or you came here legally. That's what it is. Globalism attacks that fundamental. But the State Department is in open rebellion against Trump and is saying, yes, we think Trump's with the Russians and we think Le Pen's with the Russians and any other nationalist movement in Europe's with the Russians and we're going to fight to keep Le Pen from getting elected. Our government getting involved to stop a nationalist patriot that wants to stop the Islamic invasion. And I'm reading their arrogant statements in the face of the president. So there, the American people have had their rebellion against the globalists and our hijacked federal government. But the federal government's sitting there going, we don't care what you do. We've got the big banks, we've got Bloomberg, we've got Goldman Sachs openly trying to kill the economy, openly trying to stop tax cuts for poor people, and the State Department is bad-mouthing the president, saying we'll do whatever we want when it is in the executive branch and he could fire every one of them tomorrow if he wanted to. But Trump understands they want him to fire all of them so they can say, look, he shut the government down. So he's caught trying with a federal government with millions of employees some are patriots, some are bad, some are just wanting the paycheck, trying to cut taxes, trying to stabilize things, and he's totally surrounded. Everything Trump's doing is trying to empower the people. And he's got the entire Republican establishment against him. He's got Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, the mega banks, the Vatican, the communist Chinese, the Islamists, all against him. And you sit there and you claim you're anti-establishment when the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, the kitchen sink is against Trump because he's so damn real. Russia started pulling out of globalism 18 years ago, the first country to do it in modern time. So when they say it's a Russian plot, no, the Russians were the example first. But it's Italy just said no to EU expansion. They wanted to march an EU army in and say their government had no authority. The, the EU said to Italy a month ago, we want you to pass a law that you no longer have a military and we're over your country and can appoint your president. We want you to sign sovereignty over. And the Italian government people said, what the hell no, even though their president was pushing it. This isn't like hooray Italy or America or England. We're ending our countries as we know it. Forget left and right. They appointed a president in Italy and in Greece who was a deputy head of Goldman Sachs. 
And then I love the left. Oh, yeah, he appointed three Goldman Sachs. Yeah, tens of thousands of employees. Mergers and acquisition keep people like Bannon that were in it and went public against it 20 years ago. And Mnuchin has been anti-New World Order and one-sided deals against America. You just don't know. Goldman Sachs wants world government. Goldman Sachs wants to take your guns. Goldman Sachs wants open borders. Goldman Sachs is the sworn enemy of Donald Trump and gave 100% of their presidential money to Hillary Rodham Clinton. Never in history have we had the corrupt power structure more against somebody. And see, Trump knows they're trying to break our will and our confidence. He knows he's surrounded. He knows he spent hundreds of millions of dollars to get into office. He knows that he's totally committed. He knows he's got to look strong and work with world leaders and got to get the economy defibrillated and jump-started because it's in cardiac arrest. And he's looking confident and trying to move forward. He needed Priebus and others, so they threatened to shut the whole government down if he didn't kind of let them in. And we'll work with you, sir. He knew. He knew when he met with Romney, all that crap. He was feeling them out, getting intel. So he knows what he's doing, but just understand what he's doing. He is sitting there like the ultimate fighter pilot with 50 missiles being launched at him and every missile's missing him. And he's just delivering, dropping bombs on the globalist, unlocking our chains. It's, 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 it's so biblical, I can't believe it. I'd love to attack the president. I'd love to be the outsider. People say, oh, you know, you were always anti-establishment. Now you're for it. Because we never had had a real president in modern times that really gets the score and is trying to restore the republic to where you have the power, not the globalist. There's never been a more epic time. This is so incredible. When he told you we're going to unlock the secrets of disease and cure it, folks, they've got treatments that are 99% for cancer. Hell, they're invoking the cancer. It's been declassified. They're putting it the vaccines. Trump wants to restrict the vaccines. He knows they're deadly. That's another thing he's moving to do. He is not out to get you. He's not perfect, but he's pro-human. He's not satanic. The good news is, no matter what they do to Trump, or no matter what they do to me, the human desire for liberty and the fact that a program is being set up to phase out humans, bring in robots, make us obsolete, and do all this, is actually reactivating the human life force potential and the human drive to survive and excel and it's happening now and it is a magic time and i'm so honored to be here with all of you we already succeeded we already won it already happened the enemy already gotten beat with their algorithms they admit they can predict the future now with all these mass movements they can see they're going to fail in the future so now they're trying to convince you you lost so that you don't realize the victory you already have going forward because no matter what happens to Trump, this is only going to continue. You understand? This is the human destiny. This is the great awakening. This is asking God and providence back into our hearts. This is saying no to the culture of death, no to the new world order. But Trump is completely surrounded, but he can't sit there and whine about it because he's got to look strong, which he is for everybody, and move forward and hope he can get you prosperity as quickly as possible. But I've never seen Hundreds of publications a day saying the economy is going to implode. Everything's going to be the end of the world because, you know, of Trump. So they can blow the economies to blame him. They did the same thing starting six, eight months ago in Briggs. Seven months ago. What was Briggs? Seven months ago, Buckley? Yeah. They did the same thing. They said, we're going to destroy your economy. They're so arrogant. They go, oh, you want your own country? You don't want to be under our control? We're going to destroy you and not let any of your bread be sold or your sheep be sold or your beef be sold or your grain be sold or your bottled water be sold to the EU. And anyone said, fine, go ahead and do that. We're going to accept all your stuff. All we're saying is Brussels isn't making all our decisions anymore. This is simple. Foreign mega bank set up the EU. It's unelected. That through trade deals like TPP previously, they got people roped into it. We were about to go under it, and America said no, and that's what's happening. But the globalists got to watch their ass now because they want the end of man to be here and their humet to be over. They want all about machines and digital and social engineering and control and manipulation. But the cr groups that I yelled at and said, what's your problem letting the New World Order do all this? What's your problem, FBI and CIA, going along with all this corruption? Why are you part of this? And they listened, actually, and were the key players in bringing down Hillary and the globalists and the pedophile rings in the last election. So again, New World Order, don't think that you're going to sit there and manipulate the warriors that make this country so strong and destroy themselves and their family. They now know about your plan to bring us all down, and they're now working overtime to defeat you and have a system that's pro-human. So you get ready for that, and know 
If you want a war with humanity, I'm telling you, you can feel my spirit leaning up against yours, globalist. If you want a war, you better believe you got one, and my soul and my will and everything in my ancestors is against you. So you feel that new world order in George Soros, and I want everybody to pray with me that God strike you down politically and lay you low and show you for the scum you are.